this may be the most rambly video I post. I'm gonna be all over the place. I didn't outline anything. If you don't like that type of video, please just click off, okay? Um, the best thing to do though, if you do wanna just listen to this, is uh, grab something that you're working on, a work in progress, whatever, and work on that while listening to me go off about nothing important at all, really, I guess. I don't know, listen. This is what I wanna talk about. YouTube is scary. YouTube, <laughs> YouTubers are scary. Oh my gosh. I, so I watch exclusively YouTube, right? I exclusively watch YouTube stuff. Uh, no TV, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Netflix, none of that, right? I feel like anytime I leave YouTube, I feel like garbage. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where I mostly only watch really negative stuff, like YouTuber drama videos and um, other negativity. <laughs> and I'm kind of tired of that. And obviously i can't just be like oh it's what you know the state of youtube nowadays which it could be right there's a lot there's a lot of drama stuff a lot of the really big channels are drama channels and commentary channels um but it's you know i watch that stuff so the algorithm is like this is what she wants to watch and then they only suggest that stuff to me and then me being me is like yeah you know this youtuber i've never heard of ever in my life and i'm never gonna watch i want to know what's going on with them and then i just consume and consume and consume and yeah and then i feel like garbage and i'm like what the heck youtube and it's on me right i am trying to make a difference not make a difference but like in you know i'm trying to find channels that are not just drama channels <laughs> um so that's been a journey but um yeah i'm putting myself through that right i need to stop <laughs> and it's just what people want to watch um like when i when I do watch those types of videos, those drama videos or negative videos, whatever, um, sometimes I'm like, you know, recently YouTube has been recommending smaller channels to me and I'm like, cool, I like how they do their videos. I like how they whatever. I'm gonna look through their content, through their channel to see what else they post and you know, maybe I'll be interested in subscribing because I wanna subscribe to more smaller channels and I'll look through their videos and then I notice a lot of the times it's like they didn't start out as drama channels. They started out with like gameplay or speed paints or, whatever that they were like actually interested in and then you see that they didn't have any views and then once they start talking about drama boom there it is all of their all of the views are there and then they continue posting that because of course they are because they want views and i understand that i'm not judging at all because i've always said in like when people would ask me like how do you get attention on your art i'm like you gotta start with things that people want to see which is fan art you start with fan art you grow an audience with fan art and then you start incorporating your original characters original stories whatever and then you already have an audience so that's kind of how it works on youtube and with everything else as well right so i get it i get why people go down that route 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 but it just sucks because i'm like dang like are you even interested in drama or are you like specifically just doing it for the views are you enjoying yourself you know I don't, I just, it just sucks because I'm like, man, you posted this, you know? And if they are actually passionate about it, then that's great that they're getting views and attention for something that they're passionate about. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to be passionate about drama and negative stuff like that, but I get it. I do. I do appreciate how uh, we are calling people out on this kind of behavior and stuff though. Like, obviously that's great, but I just... I know I need to take a break from that stuff because it just makes me feel terrible. And I think now and then you gotta touch grass or you gotta watch innocent gameplay or like a dog video or something. I don't know, right? So, ugh, yeah, I don't know. It just sucks. It just sucks. Um, and I can't even say because <laughs> I remember thinking for a split second like, oh, old classic YouTube wasn't like this. Like we didn't have this type of drama and terrible people on YouTube back then. No, no, no. It was always the case. Are you kidding me? So many old school YouTubers have been called out for being really terrible people. So dang, you know, you can't even. I have freaking pictures of myself at VidCon with Tobuscus and Miranda Sings who are both nasty. And those are both old school YouTubers, okay? So it was always just, you know, terrible people have find their way to power or i don't know if they get corrupted by the power i don't know i remember seeing a comment i think it was a comment on some youtubers video why can i not talk youtubers video or something right somebody saying like the people the reason why so many top top big youtubers are outed as terrible people is because you have to be terrible you have to be willing to do terrible things to get to that 
point to get to the top and i'm like you know what maybe that is the case because what the heck you guys know what i'm talking about you guys you guys are on youtube you've seen what's going on right like it's just so not safe and the fact that so much of youtube's um audience are children is just so scary because children not just children but oh you know a lot of people but a lot of children most children idolize these people like crazy oh my gosh and it's just so sad this is what we're raising our children on i don't know i'm just oh i'm so glad i'm not a parent i couldn't i couldn't with oh you have to be so careful of what they watch you got to monitor everything and even when you monitor everything it's like again so many of these youtubers are so innocent presenting right and they cater to children a lot of the times they cater to them because that's where the audience is that's where the money is and they're terrible like they're abusive or they're groomers or they're something and it's like jesus christ i don't know <laughs> it's just i don't even know where this video is i've just this is such a yeah overall i want this channel to be a safe space but this video and my last one probably were pretty negative and that's fine i just i just needed to get this off my chest because oh my gosh it's just it's insane it's really Oh my gosh yeah so i don't have like any wisdom okay <laughs> to ins like i'm just venting okay about what i have been witnessing i don't have any solutions um i just i really think we just got to be more careful about who we support obviously obviously you don't know who's a terrible person because all every single youtuber every single youtuber puts up some sort of act or some sort of character and that's not necessarily a bad thing right i'm just saying that even the most genuine of people will put up some sort of character even myself including like do you think i talk like this normally no i talk like well i talk like this because i'm comfortable in front of a camera camera <laughs> in front of a microphone because i'm like you guys know who i am you guys probably you guys know what you're getting yourself into when you come here but it's just a little bit right like a little bit of a character of I'm trying to be more talkative and trying to be more whatever. Everyone, every single YouTuber puts up some sort of character or act or whatever. So please just don't idolize people too much, okay? Don't put anybody on a pedestal. Pedestal? 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 <sighs> just please just don't. <laughs> What is it? What's that term? What's that term that's going around? Uh, parent, parent, social relationship? Is that what it is? Oh gosh, I really, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. You guys just, oh, please be careful. Oh, the kids out there, I feel so bad. I remember, oh my, this is like a, a little bit of a tangent, but I remember somebody that I knew uh, suggested making like a YouTube channel with me, like a collab YouTube channel. And I was like, sure, whatever. And I was like, well, what do you want to do? And they're like, we should do toy reviews. And I was like, hell no. Why would you want to do toy reviews like for kids? And I'm like, okay, listen, if that's whatever you want to do, fine. But I do not want to cater to children. No offense, children. You guys are cool. But I just don't want to be a, a child channel. I just don't. I just, I want to be inclusive, right? For anybody. But I just don't want to specifically cater to m m children. I just, yeah. So I was like, mm hmm no thanks <laughs> so obviously that didn't happen but and it, you know like i said it makes money kids children on youtube make youtubers money i get why i just i i mean i get it but i don't get it i just i i don't know i don't know oh it's just so scary it's so scary and again i can't i'm not gonna say like every single youtube channel that's catered to children or evil or whatever but just like oh my gosh I just, I'm so scared of trusting anyone. Like I said, I was trying to look for more positive YouTubers. And it's just scary. How do I know if you're like a terrible person or not? <laughs> but it, you know, you can't think like that, right? You can't just assume the worst in everyone. So yeah, I've been trying to find people to watch that don't make me feel like garbage. So if you guys have any suggestions at all, please leave them in the comments. I did find two gaming channels that I really like um, that never make me feel terrible watching them. One of them is, uh, I didn't actually like look up their names i'm really bad at remembering youtubers names um it's gato gaming or gaming gato or something like that and i've been watching her um zelda playthroughs those are so fun and she's really funny and i just really like her personality so yeah i've been watching her and then there's somebody else i forgot her channel name 
but I think her name is Key. I think. And she's also an artist, but I found her through watching... Okay. <laughs> like, uh, okay, I'm not gonna go into it, but... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go into it because, again, I think most of my audience are around my age. So, um... I remembered about this game, my like Dramatical Murder. You guys remember that? Oh, that is not, if you're a minor, you cannot look up that game, but remember Dramatical Murder? So I forgot that that game existed and then I've been seeing a lot of fan art of it. So I was like, let me look up some a playthrough and somebody did a playthrough of it nine months ago. And yeah, I really like their stuff. I looked through their channel. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of stuff here that I think I could enjoy. So I found two channels, guys, two new channels that don't make me feel like crap watching them. And they're, they overall seem pretty okay and genuine. So <laughs> wait, I should be more supportive. <laughs> they seem like they're okay people that we can support. <laughs> they seem like really nice people. I'm just, again, I'm just scared of supporting people. I'm just, uh, the amount of people I had to like unsubscribe. <laughs> from and stuff but yeah again if you guys have any suggestions of people who don't make you feel like garbage for watching them uh please suggest them because i am trying to cleanse the youtube you know my youtube uh algorithm my youtube homepage, and i'm just trying to get some more stuff that won't make me feel terrible so yeah again sorry that i just vented for like two videos straight this channel overall is supposed to be a safe space so from you know i'll post some more chill stuff but you know I vent and rant now and then, so <laughs> expect that eventually, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, sorry that this is all over the place. I tried to outline this video like someone suggested and two weeks passed and I had nothing. So I had to talk straight from my heart and here it is. <laughs> this is straight from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting yeah anyways i hope you like listening to me and I, if you watch anything from my video hope you liked it i i might have drawn toro taro from zelda from uh tears of the kingdom he is so beautiful and i love him and nobody talks about him so i had to draw him i love him he's so beautiful anyways i will see you guys eventually Bye bye <laughs>